Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician here today, and I'm just going to do part two of the video explaining how to use VSTs in Reason Virtual Instruments. I realized that I glazed over the second part, which is where you run the sound out of your audio card and back into your audio card. So today I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. All right, let's turn things around and take All a look. All right, so here you've got my audio card. Uh, or interface. It's a Steinberg UR28M. It's really nice, easy to use. I like it. It's about right for my needs. So I've got this orange cable here running from one of the outputs of my audio card. And a big part of this is going to be going into the software of your individual card and figuring out how to use the right output so that you're not sending everything out. Or you can use mute and solo within reason so that you're only sending um, one piece of data um, or even turn off the music and reason altogether and it's just going to come through the uh, virtual instrument. Um, so one thing to look at is that the master output volume of your audio card is going to or of your audio interface is going to control the send level that comes out of your audio interface. So you're going to want to be sure to get that level dialed in. If the signal is too quiet, it's not going to work well. If it's too loud, it's going to, there's going to be feedback or you'll be clipping. So that's one, this is one place wherever your audio card, um, you know, has the output control. That's going to be one way that it's going to be affected. So from there, you can I run the cable um, right now it's going into my warm audio tone beast TB12 preamp um, and you can check out a review I just did of this preamp the other day I love it um, it's really great it warms up the sound just a little bit you can also do some nice saturation or distortion um, and if you're going out of the box don't be afraid to use like just a guitar cable or a guitar pedal you know you can just plug it either through the preamp or before the preamp just go into one of these incredible pedals you know and don't be afraid to experiment tweak the knobs get physical with it and then from the rest of my interface it's going basically out of the warm audio tone beast or it could come out of the effect pedal and then back in here in this black cable to one of my inputs and then you've got the volume control or the gain control of the input um, so that's it that's how I actually run the signal path when I am recording VSTs and reason thanks so much for watching if you like this be sure to give me a thumbs up like follow comment subscribe whatever um, the one thing I'm gonna say is that every audio card and the software is a little bit different so you're gonna have to dig into the guts of your own software to make sure that there's not something weird going on with the monitoring of the um, audio card that you have I can't tell you what goes on in each card but I struggled for quite a while to get a clean sound from my audio uh, card when I was feeding it back in and that's because I realized that my um, Steinberg 28M has the ability to put effects on that sort of bypass everything, bypass your DAW. It's sort of just a soft effect that is being done in the hardware side of it. So um, you're gonna need to dig into the guts of your card and make sure that it's not applying some sort of compression, EQ, gain, reverb, whatever that you don't want. But once you get that sorted out, this is a really easy way of doing it. Just be careful about feedback at all times because it can be a problem. All right, thanks a lot.